Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back. So a few days ago I was streaming on Twitch and I had this idea for a build challenge. I don't know if anyone's done it before, but I basically build a house, but I can't use the same item twice. No items twice. I think it's gonna be really interesting. So let's try it out. So here we are on a lot in Newcrest and obviously I can use walls multiple times because I feel like that doesn't really count. But I wanna be strategic about where I'm putting like walls and rooms because I think the way that I'm gonna do walls and floors rather than like have a different color for every single wall panel, I'll allow myself to do like one wall can be one color. But then like this can't be the same and this can't be the same. Just to hopefully have it be more of a cohesive house. Okay, so here is our general shelf for the house. Once again, I've gone open concept, what a surprise. But we're gonna have two bedrooms and then a Jack and Jill bathroom. So I also don't want to reuse roof pieces. Like if I use this gabled roof piece, I don't want to use another gabled roof piece. Though that could be quite difficult considering we only have like four options for roof pieces besides these like polygon ones. Okay, maybe I have to abandon the like completely unique roof pieces because I don't know how else I'm going to roof this house. I do not like how this looks. Why is roofing this so difficult? I don't understand. Wait, I literally can't roof this. I am admitting that I cannot roof this and we're gonna do a half wall roof. I'm literally like a one trick pony. Like I literally only do half wall roofs. Anyway, let's think about how we're going to do the siding on this. I'm thinking like, what about eco lifestyle wood? Like, I feel like we can do enough of them that you can't really tell the difference. Oh, wait, you know what I realized? This wall and this wall, I'm counting separately. So like, I can't do the same one for them. Oh no. So let's do that one. And then for the other one, let's do that one. Like, I guess I'll allow it. Actually, what if for this bump out, we do like something different? Like we do some stone or something. Like, I feel like if we do it right, it can kind of make sense. Like, these two walls are different swatches and you can barely tell because of the lighting. Wait a minute, why does this kind of work with the lighting? Like you barely can tell, right? Okay, I'm obsessed with that. That feels a little bit cohesive. The roof trim, I'm gonna count all as one thing just because that's how the game sees it. As for the other sides of the house, that is such a good question, right? Like I think for this side, let's go like that. That kind of flows a bit better. And then back here, I have no idea. Do we just keep the eco lifestyle wood? Okay, I think from the front, this kind of looks okay. Like you can barely tell that we're doing this challenge right? Okay, I would like to get a door that kind of like fills up this whole space so that we don't need to put windows on the sides that are different. Another thing I'm going to try and do once we get inside is not use just different swatches of the same item. You know, I kind of did that with the walls on the outside, but do you agree with me that that's made the outside look a little bit cohesive a little bit okay okay so i think big windows are kind of our friend we might end up with like sort of an industrial kind of look but i do think it's kind of what has to happen if we can only use each item once i usually save landscaping for last so i think landscaping is going to be the most interesting part of this so we get one subtle saucer light and one super subtle saucer light we have to use them wisely i'm going to size down the super subtle saucer light so it's going to look exactly the same but i promise you it's not i realize it kind of maybe feels like I'm cheating because I made everything open concept. I can just use one floor. I didn't even realize that I did that, but I did. So we get to use one floor for the whole area. Truly the classic entrance way. Like, I don't know what you expected. And we kind of have to figure out the vibe of the walls. Like what if we just did varying swatches of blue that you can barely even tell are different? You know what? I think that's fun. Kind of fade into a nice purple over here. Ooh, you know what I would love? I would love like two little windows right there, but we literally can't. We can only do one. On the strategic side, I think if we do paranormal stuff, we have a good option of like this chair and this chair. And since they're from the same pack, they kind of have like similar energy, similar vibes. Like, look at that. They all go together, but they're completely different items. Oh, you know what I would really love here? I would just love like these two tables, but size down, you know, to create that kind of coffee table, but we can't. Paranormal stuff is so cute. I haven't even thought about plants. I just know it's gonna make things so difficult. You mean to tell me I can only put one authority in this build. I can only put one of these little things in this build. Gotta get creative with the clutter. I have to use stuff that I like normally don't use. It's so hard to search things in this game. I literally type knitting and it's like no results. Bestie, there's an entire pack of knitting stuff. I'm not using the same swatch of things. That means I can't do the two tiny living pictures of like the two plants. <laughs> okay, kitchen time. I kind of just want to get this over with. I think let's use the Harbinger counter since that has the most swatches. What if we just go like a rainbow moment? I'm not mad about that. <gasps> Wait, no, I said I wasn't going to do different swatches. See, I still would like to keep the rainbow energy because I think maybe if everything is rainbow, then it will still kind of come together nicely. Like that, right? 
I'm wondering like what if we did do some cabinets? That's ugly. That looks ugly. It looks bad. We can't do it. Actually, the shelving doesn't look that bad. I would like to brighten it up. So maybe some hanging lights, I guess. I'm feeling what if spot A is our best bet here? We have a light color, a medium color, and like a dark. I'm not super mad at that, to be quite honest. And then we get one get together column and I'm putting it there just so it looks like a cohesive separation. Okay, time to clutter. Okay, the kitchen is is acceptable. So this also means no dining room chairs can match, which is just something else, let me tell you. I think glass table will be good for this because then it's like all the chairs can look good with the table at least. Let's pull out like some similarly looking chairs. You no, know, to be honest, I don't even know if I want all like six seats around the table to be taken or maybe this is just four seater table. I feel like six seats like really just kind of cramps it up. So maybe we just do those. I am not angry at that. I would love some more hanging lights, but we already used my fave from Eco Lifestyle. Oh, but my other fave tiny living gorge and let's figure out the doors our best bet is probably to use these super basic doors because they aren't that different from each other like you can barely tell oh my god and the Lindsay blends right into the wall oh you know what since we've done a lot of rainbow things let's get a flag let's get a pride flag okay here's our main living area let's go do this like master bedroom def needs some lighting i really like this piece but it like does not provide much light these two do oh my god i wanted to place two of these but i can't and so we need a completely separate flooring but this is pretty similar in terms of like swatch style and then also separate walls wait it's a glitch that this and this are the same swatch do i take advantage of the glitch maybe i do the perfect spot for the bed is right there and then the bedside tables is where it gets difficult because it would be so easy to just put two of them. I don't even know like what the vibe is, like what's the energy? I feel like those could kind of work together. Got one chance to use the jungle adventure mirror. Let's put it right there. And then we can't even do the same bedside lamps. Maybe like a lamp like that and then a tray could kind of be cute. I'm really trying to take advantage of the wide art pieces because they do so well at filling a wall. It doesn't have to be like that and that in different swatches. We also need a dresser. Maybe let's do that. And I don't know some curtains and then I think a desk here even though the window is like very tall I think a desk is gonna fit here. I don't think I used these books before did I wait? I can't even do two fluffy rugs. Oh <gasps> wait I have an idea I take one fluffy rug and I size it up so that each side of the bed can have a bit of fluffy rug I think something like that would be cute, but it makes it like really cramped I think I like the openness better. Oh, no wait I did all this and then didn't even remember to put a door to the bathroom Okay, so you're just gonna have to go through this room to get to the bathroom I guess because I love how this is laid out and I don't want to change it. Uh, let's go over to this room. Okay, and literally before I do anything else, we need a door to the bathroom because I literally will forget. All right, let's get some like completely different floors to make sure that we're not using the same ones. And maybe it's just like a single bed in this room. I don't want it to get too cramped up. And I wonder how this wallpaper looks like in different swatches. Like I think it must all still go together, right? Just sort of a different vibe of each swatch. I mean, I do be kind of liking that. I would love a dresser that like fits right here. Maybe tiny living. Oh, tiny living could actually be really nice. It kind of matches the wall. Hmm, a desk? I don't know, that really makes it crowded. Wait, that poof is so cute. We can only do one though. It feels like a very lopsided room. Do you know what I mean? Maybe let's move the mirror over here and the dresser. Oh, the dresser like right here and move the door over a little bit. And that kind of like evens out the space. Do you know what I mean? Over here into the bathroom. Ah, tiles for sure. And then what tiles did we not use? You know what? I like it. Ooh, maybe something like that. How does that look from the outside? I love a nice spot for a bathtub. <gasps> maybe, maybe this is where we use the authority. Create some zen moment right there. I feel like this challenge could definitely be harder if you were doing two bathrooms. Obviously there are a lot of options, but I tend to cling to like my favorite bathroom items and use them multiple times. So that leaves here for sinks. And I'm like, bestie, I don't even know what to do. I don't even know what counters we didn't use. I guess we didn't use Jungle Adventure. And we didn't use Spa Day. They could literally not be more different in style. Oh, maybe we just just do one sink. You know what? Maybe we just do that. I think double sinks could certainly be a good vibe, but I'm just like, I don't know how we make it look good. Ew, I don't know. We have to do this mirror because my fave is to do like two big mirrors right next to each other, but can't use two of them. Okay, that's our bathroom. I'm not mad at it. So that brings us out here to the backyard. Maybe to kind of make this easier on ourselves, we just do like a two-seater table instead of a four-seater. And we can do one with a cushion, one without, because they are technically different items. This is on quite a large lot, and I'm literally so bad at doing backyards. So so I'm like, 
I don't know what to do. Like, that's cute. And then like one chaise lounge, two chaise lounges. And then I don't think I've used this tray. I have not. That's good. How are we feeling about a fence? Ooh. Maybe let's do like very similar ones. Like that can be one side. This can be another side. And that can be another side. Those are all different. And now we have landscaping. And I'm just like, bestie, I don't even know what to do. <laughs> like we get one low lying yellow pale flowers. We get one wild grass. But even worse, we get one hedgerow. Like that's it. We get one of them and we have to go to the high hedge. And it's like, at what point are you just like, never mind, I don't have hedges at my house. I feel like the rock kind of provides a nice ending point for the landscaping. Like, oh, it's not going to go further than this. We can for sure have a tree. As for this side of the house, like I don't know what to do. Maybe do like a large bush like that. <gasps> Wait, I didn't even realize how like box can kind of make this work. Okay, so if you just accept that there's such minimal landscaping, it kind of works. Oh, I don't have a bin. I think it kind of spills. All right, so quick final over overview. There it is from the outside. There's a bird's eye view. I think my favorite part is the kitchen. And there's our like minimal effort backyard. <laughs> so that's the video. If you enjoyed, don't forget to like and comment and subscribe. I had a ton of fun with this challenge and I hope you did too. I do fun build challenges like this all the time over on my Twitch. So the link will be down below if you ever want to come hang out with me over there. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye! <gasps> Not the fight! What? She just got beat up. Bestie, my ID was fine. I had a fake ID. I had a fake ID. Get arrested? Not me becoming a criminal. Where to now? Look at her face. Oh my god. Look at that. Oh my god.